So this is antigen which is present in the serum as a result of this viral infection. Suppose it is a A virus infection, we can call it like that hepatitis A virus antigen and this antigen will produce a immune response to the host. It will produce immune response in the host immune system and this response will generate IgM type of antibody against this antigen. So this is a very important anal analogy and analysis of serum that you must remember for any patient with a acute viral hepatitis. You get the elevation of the IgM antibody. In addition to that, this particular virus, it could be any virus, may also cause a severe injury to the hepatocyte. And as a result of this thing, patient will also release an excessive amount of two hepatocellular enzymes which are known as AST, aspartate amino transferases and alanine amino transferase. Now these enzymes will be elevated with a too much value. Normally these two values in the healthy individual is between 40 to 50 international unit. Now I want you to check this value once again because it, it may not be 100% correct as I said it here. When there is a viral hepatitis, these values will go up and how much it will go up? It can be between 1000 to 1200. You can understand that it is so much of increase and this increase in this AST and ALT value is the indicator of acute hepatitis. In addition to that, this viral infection can cause a severe obstruction in the biliary channels in the liver. And this obstruction if it is present in the biliary channels in the liver, definitely you can get excess amount of bilirubin in the serum. And this excess of amount of bilirubin will produce a jaundice that is which is responsible for the yellow discoloration of the eye the whites of the eye so what we are getting is a as a clinical laboratory issues or findings we are getting the high level of IgM we are getting the we are getting a jaundice due to the high bilirubin and we are getting excessive accumulation of AST and ALT in the serum and these three things would suggest the patient has a acute viral hepatitis. Now if the patient has acute viral hepatitis, what are the possible outcomes? As I said that a patient who is having a viral hepatitis, it may recover completely and the recovery is almost always present if the patient has a hepatitis B virus infection. Recovery can also occur in the hepatitis C virus infection. Recovery also can occur with a hepatitis B virus infection. But recovery is most commonly seen in the hepatitis A virus. Some of this infection, the acute illness can become chronic. Now if it becomes chronic or if it is a patient with a chronic hepatitis, the most likely cause of this infection is the hepatitis C virus, which is more likely to become chronic than hepatitis B virus. Every point we are discussing here are very very important. Now it comes to the monster. Some cases of hepatitis infection or acute illness, the patient can become a carrier of this particular infective agent. He or she can carry, carry the infection. 
and in that case you mostly think about the hepatitis B virus infection because this B virus has a capa capacity to stay in the human body to stay in the liver and then it can uh, actually spread the infection to the other person in the future the fourth important uh, feature of the acute illness some of the cases or sequence of the acute illness is that some of the cases may produce a fulminant hepatitis with a liver failure as you understand from the name this is the severe most disease and this can kill the patient when I say fulminant hepatitis this hepatitis is so severe so quick that it can progress to the liver failure so most patient with a fulminant hepatitis in addition to the features of acute illness in the serum you also get the features of liver failure so there is a combination of the biochemical findings findings of hepatitis and the findings of the liver failure and this is due to the hepatitis D virus infection so if you want to recapitulate the clinical findings in acute hepatitis it should be presence of the IgM antibody it should be very high AST and ALT with the jaundice that is very high elevation of the bilirubin all these features are present with acute viral hepatitis when it comes to the chronic illness it is very important that we understand the definition of the chronic illness how do you define a patient that the patient is having a chronic viral hepatitis this is the question how do you define it now definition goes that way if the patient has a disease that persists for more than six months more than six months then we define that this patient is suffering from a chronic viral hepatitis so I want you to keep in your mind this particular word particular number six six months so any disease is present for more than six months we call it a patient with a chronic hepatitis now some of these patient who has a chronic hepatitis they should develop invariably develop cirrhosis of the liver and may develop a carcinoma it tells you one thing that if there is a patient with a chronic hepatitis it is better to tell the patient okay you please listen to me that there is a chance of cirrhosis of your liver very very well and you may develop a carcinoma this can frighten the patient but I guess uh, you must try to tell the patient little bit about this outcome of the disease now it comes to the very important point again the what is the possible serological issue of this patient when the patient has a chronic illness now chronic illness means at that particular moment you may not get the antigen into the serum you do not get antigen this is a chronic issue but since your immune system or the patient's immune system is activated despite the fact there is no antigen you get the IgG antibody and which suggests the chronic illness 